Okay. So now what is the boxes inside the worksheet? The, the, um, the, what are the, uh, I mean, this table, uh, what are boxes? In each box, uh, it is what we call a cell, C E W -L, L cell uh, in Microsoft Excel. Uh, cell in Microsoft Excel. Cell is the coordination between column and row, uh, between column and row. For example, in here, you can see that um, on my screen, uh, it's a coordination of column H, row number eight. Uh, the coordination between column H and row number eight. This cell is called cell H8. H8. Uh, we start with column name first, column H, row number eight is H8. So in order to see the location uh, of that cell, you can see the highlight of the column and the highlight of the row. This is the way to notice. This is H8. Um, apart from that one, when you want to know that uh, what location it is, you can see on the name box as well. The name box right now is showing the location of the cell. That is H8, cell H8. What is the cell for? The cell is used to enter the data in it. It can be the text, it can be numbers, uh -huh, or it can be the date and time and other values. It can be the currency uh -huh, that we have to use, or it can be the formula, uh -huh, or it can be the formula that you would like to enter. So um, in this one, uh -huh, I will not talk about the formula yet, uh -huh, but one thing that I want you to see is that you can see that in the cell H8, I type the text C E double L cell, right? I type the text C E double L cell. Also, if you have a look in the formula bar, it shows C E double L cell as well. How to edit the data here? You can see that in um, the cell. If you would like to edit the value inside the cell, you double click on that cell. And then you just type anything in there. Uh -huh. For example, if I want to make this um, text to be plural cells, something like this. Uh -huh. This is one way that I can do. Apart from that one, uh -huh. if you want to edit the value uh -huh, in that cell, you click on that cell first and go to formula bar and edit the value in there. You can see that. Right now, it is the cells, right? Right, the word cells. I want to make it as a singular word instead to be cell. I can click on that um, formula bar and then delete S out. Uh, you can see that right now, uh, if I press enter, uh, this one, cell H8, uh, is, uh, contains just the word cell only that I just edit in um, the formula bar. Uh, okay. So, if you don't double click, if you don't double click on that cell, but you just click and then type something in there, it is not editing, but it is replacing of the value. For example, I just move the mouse pointer over H8 and then I type test. You can see that the word cell is gone. So if you want to edit it, you have to just double click I have to edit the value inside. Uh, okay, right. Okay, so now you know about like the cell, column, and rows already. I uh, have cell, column, and row already. Now I show you how to navigate to different cells that we would like to have. For example, everyone, um, I want you to try and have. Um, now I want you to go to cell set 500 cup. Set 500. Everyone just try cup. Go to cell set 500. Cup. When you want to go to cell set 500, cup, the way that we normally do is that you may go to uh, 
column set first. And then you just move, you just press um, down arrow key on your keyboard uh, to set 500. Now, do you get fi set 500 yet? Okay. Okay, this is set 500. Uh -huh. Okay, you can notice that in here, uh -huh, in the name box, it said set 500. Uh, this is one way to navigate. You use left and right, up and down arrow key uh, to go to that location. Now, when you go to that location already, uh, I want you to go back to A1. Uh, everyone just go back to cell A1. Uh, go to cell A1. So I'm sure that you do the same thing. Uh, just use up, down, up, and left arrow to go to A1. Now, let's see. We have the shortcut how to get to A1. If you use Windows based computer, you have to press Control and Home. Control and Home. Um, on Mac, I'm not sure. Today, I don't have my MacBook around here. If I'm not wrong, it should be Function and then Home button, something like that. Okay. If you press Control Home, it jumps back to A1 immediately. Uh -huh. okay. Now, if you want to go back to set 500 once again, what should we do? Because I just like type something in um, the set 500 and I want to edit it. Uh -huh. If you have to press the button um, arrow keys again, it wastes a lot of time. Now, let me tell you the shortcut. Uh -huh. In order to go to the shortcut, we just Sorry, not go to the shortcut. We use the shortcut way in order to go to a uh, so to go to set five hundred. Is that you go to name box? Uh -huh. You go to the name box. Type the location that you want to go. So in this one, I type set five hundred, and press enter. Then it just go to set five hundred for me automatically. Uh -huh. So that I can edit anything. Okay. Now, if I want to go to A1, uh, if I don't type, um, if I don't press Control and Home, I can go to name box and type A1 as well, and then press Enter. Then it just like jump back to A1. Uh, so these are just like the shortcut way in order to navigate to the cells that you would like to go. Just a little bit more. I uh, have. Um, for the column, it start from column A, B, C, and so on. Uh, when it just like go to end of the last letter that is set, the next column will be A, A. Uh, will be A, 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 B, until A, Z. And then it goes to B, A, B, B to B, Z, C, A, C, 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 B, C, C to C, Z. Uh, and then it goes down, um, it goes more and more and more until column set set. I uh have, -huh. um, suppose I go to set set one first. After column set set, it start with column A, 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 something like that, uh -huh, and so on. Um, also for the number, I uh have -huh, for the row number, it's row number one. 200 and then 200, 300 and so on. And then the number is increasing. Uh -huh. So if you just like navigate down to the last row that we can have, uh -huh. okay. Um, I use shortcut again, I press control and down arrow key. Uh -huh. This is the last row. 1 million, uh -huh. um, 48,576 row I have this is the last row and for the last column I have I can press control and right arrow key it's xfd I have so that means in Microsoft Excel it can consist up to millions of cells I have in one table I have but most of the time we don't use up to millions of cells in there except 
you are a data analyst นะครับ um, sometimes you may have heard like some um, new occupation they called as like um, data scientist นะครับ or in term of business you might be called as um, data um, data analyst นะครับ um, so these kind of people they use lots of data นะครับ in one table But I mean, like for everyday use, นะครับ we may use like at most like 1,000-2,000 sales, นะครับ in one table only, นะครับ because um, even though Excel provide you millions of sales, นะครับ in one table, but if you use them up, in order to process the data, it will be very very slowly. If your computer doesn't have the high capability enough in order to process, นะครับ so that's why. Most of the time, we may use like up to 1,000, 2,000 sales only. All right. So now we learn about like the sales that we have already. Let's move on a bit. Underneath this table that you have got, you have a tab called Sheet One, right? You have a tab called Sheet One. This one is called as Worksheet. I have one table that you have got. I have is called as a worksheet. So, if you want to have more worksheets, I have you can have it as well. All right, everyone, let's try. I have on the right hand side of sheet one, you see plus symbol in the circle, right? Just click plus symbol in the circle. It's called as new sheet. I have. So it has you have sheet two. Once you click again, you have sheet three and so on. Older version of Excel. I have. If you start a new workbook, it just automatically created three worksheets to you. But you can see that okay, um, the the um modern version of Excel. Once we created a new workbook, Excel just create one sheet for you. Why is that? There are two reasons. Cap the first one, Excel know that if you want to have more sheets, you can add the new sheet by yourself. And also, the second reason is because most of the people they use one workbook. I have, sorry, they use one worksheet in one workbook only. So that's why they create one sheet for you. So that um, sheet two and sheet three will not be just like the blank sheet that you never use. I have. Okay. So now. You can see that we have many worksheets in Microsoft Excel. I have in one workbook already. Bear in mind that a book or a workbook in Excel is a file, where a sheet or a worksheet is a page in Microsoft Excel. I have so that means, um, if you compare one Excel file, I have as a one um as one journal book, I have account journal book, you can just like um make one sheet. นะครับ to keep like um maybe like one month of data or one year of data as well นะครับ in a sheet นะครับ so it depends on you how do you gonna separate the data into นะครับ okay so you see the sheets already นะครับ what if I don't want sheet two I don't want sheet three that I just like recently add these two new worksheets what should I do then you just delete it นะครับ How do you gonna delete? For example, if you know that you don't want sheet two and sheet three, have you go to sheet two first to delete it? How to delete? You just move the mouse pointer over the tab sheet two. Have right click and then you see the menu here. There are insert, delete, rename, move or copy, and so on. This one we click delete. If you don't have any data in that worksheet, I have Excel will delete it for you without asking for anything. I have I do the same thing with sheet three. I have okay. So if I want to have like some more sheets, I have I add some more. Okay. Um, the next thing that I'll try to show you is that you can also shuffle the position of the sheet as well. Right now, you can see that on my screen we have sheet one, sheet four, and sheet five. If I want to shuffle the position to have sheet five, sheet one, and sheet four, what should I do? So the things that I do is that I have to shuffle sheet five to be before sheet one. 
นะครับ so the way that we can do is that we can just, just like move the mouse pointer over sheet five click and drag you can see that there there will be a small um, black arrow นะครับ over the board border of other sheets then you move sheet five before sheet one yeah so right now sheet five come before sheet one already นะครับ so this is the way that we can shuffle the position of uh, the sheets that you would like to have นะครับ apart from that one นะครับ you can also um, rename the sheet as well นะครับ okay right let me just have a look now if I don't want sheet four and sheet five I delete it out first นะครับ okay now we have sheet one so I will rename the sheet one first. I will rename the sheet one first. Assume that I want to um, type the revenue have, of 2020. Have revenue of 2020. How to rename the sheet? You go to the sheet one, have, the tab sheet one. You may double click have, and then just type the, the name have, that you want to have of that sheet or you move the mouse pointer over sheet one, right click and choose rename. It's the same thing. So everyone rename sheet one to be revenue 2020. Revenue 2020. Okay. So now we will enter the data into our worksheet. So in this one, I have, I was, um, I have, I, I will use two columns. I have column A and column B. All right. So now I'll just like um tell you that okay, Microsoft Excel has a feature in order to autofill the data for you, especially for the data that is like, um, what to say, in um, order or the, the um, data that is sequence. For example, month, for example, quarter. That is basic in um, Microsoft Excel and also numbering as well. Is the basic thing that Microsoft Excel can generate the uh, oil fill of the data for you. For example, if you want to enter month from January to December, if you have to type January to December, it wastes a lot of time. Microsoft Excel helps us in order to fill up the data, but you have to start showing Excel that, okay, what is the order? that you want Excel to generate for you. For example, I want January to December. The good example for telling Excel for this order is telling Excel for example of two months first, then I type January and February. So Excel will anticipate that the next month should be March, April and so on, because you start with Jan and Feb. Uh, so how can we make Excel to generate um, other months for us? The way that we do is that we highlight, uh, we highlight the month first, um, January and February. Uh, you highlight these two cells, January and February. Uh, and then, you can see that at the bottom right corner of these highlighted cells, you see um, the green, the green dot, the green big dot here. This is, this is the, um, what to say, automatic tools that Excel will analyze for automatic ordering for you. So in order to have the next month, you drag down, 
you can see that on the um, bottom right corner, if you move the mouse pointer over it, from the white cross, it will be changed to be the black hairline cross. You drag it down. You see March, April, May, and so on. Uh, this is just the preview of the data that will be shown in that cell first. So suppose you want to finish at the month of December. Uh, you can see December here and then you release the mouse. Then you can see that the month will be added for you automatically to be Jan, uh, sorry, to be March um, until December. If you still drag down, what will happen? It will start the next one, the next year, January, February, and so on for us. And when it ends at December, it restart at January again because normally the basic month end that with December. So the order should be ended at December here. So we don't want it to have this one and just like um, give you some example only. So we need just like the first uh, December here and it's, it's enough. When you don't want the rest of the cell, what should we do? We have to clear it out. In order to clear the data, um, let's see how to clear the data properly. So you highlight unwanted cells. Uh, you have a couple of ways to do that. The first one, uh, after you highlight, you press delete button on your keyboard. Uh, it clear out the data for you. This is the first way. Uh, or second way, after you highlight unwanted cells already, you right click and you choose clear contents. I uh, have clear contents. This is the correct way to clear the data. And I have some of you say that can we use delete menu? You can see that if you highlight these cells and then you choose right click and choose delete, it's different from clear contents. I have let's see what happened. When you choose delete, it asks you how to delete. If you delete, I have you have to shift cell left or shift sales up, shift entire row or shift entire or, or delete entire column. In here, if you choose wrongly, you have some other data will be gone as well. So that's why in this one, I don't recommend you to delete, you have, but I want you to clear contents only. Okay. So in this one, have, in this one, you can see that for the month and revenue, I have, it's over the text is over the border. I have, for example, I have for example in here. I have um, the month of September, November, and December. They just like um, use I have the width over the border of column A. Then you have to widen it. I have in term of column B. I have the sale B one here. The word in US dollars is over the border of column B. You have to widen the column as well. We learn already how do we gonna widen the column or how do we gonna heighten um higher up the height of the row. The first way that we do is that you click on that column first, go to the right border, and then drag. You can see that this is the way that we do uh, in order to widen the column. Okay. Now, uh, I'll teach you for two more ways. Um, two more ways in order to widen the column is that, okay, the first, one, the first way is that if you know the column width uh, in numbers, you can just like enter the number. Uh, so for example, if you want to widen column A, you click on column A first, right click and choose column width. Then it shows the column width for you. This is not centimeters, this is the points. They count the unit of points. So for example, in here it said 8.43 points. You want to make a width to be 10 points, then just type 10 here I have then it's widened I have so what is this one used for 
if you want to widen many columns at the same time, you can just like do this. นะครับ You just like for example in here, I want to widen column A and column B to be in the same width. นะครับ I highlight both of them first and then choose right click and the column width. In this one, you can see that Excel is showing that these two columns have the width as 8.43 points. If you say that mm, I want these two columns to have 20 points, I type 20 and press OK. So these two columns will have the same width. Uh, we do the same thing as a height. Uh, it's apply um, the same concept as a height. Okay. When you know the, the columns width in terms of numbers, uh, you can specify the width like this. But uh, sometimes we don't know the exact width, but we want Excel to justify the proper width of the column. What should we do? Uh, so if you say that, okay, you don't want to just like, um, manually move to widen up the column uh, the way that we can do is that we make uh, excel to make a decision for you uh, this is automatic justification of the width firstly you highlight the column that you want to justify the width first after that you move the mouse pointer on the right border of the column then you double click up now it just justify the width uh, by just like checking uh, the cell that has the widest, that consume the widest width. For example, in here is September. Uh, so it will just like add, it will just add like some extra width a bit uh, for you to justify. Same as column B uh, in here. If you want to do the automatic justification of the width, you click on column B and then, then you double click on the right border. I have this one. It's automatically justification. Right. Okay. Okay, so when we have this thing already, I have next time I will just like talk about how to fill up the data in here. I have um then I'll just let you just like type the revenue I uh, have. And also we just like move, learn the way how to move the table I uh, have into the exact location that we would like to have. Uh, so up to this point, do you have any questions Got anyone? Okay, so if you don't have any question, uh, we will save our file. So in order to save the file, uh, we click on file, save. Uh, so I recommend you to create a folder. Uh, I recommend you to create a folder uh, um, to save this file for our course. Uh, so you click on browse uh, and go to any location that you wanna have. Uh, in this one, suppose I would like to save it in here. And then I just choose new folder. Uh, and then that's Excel file. So I named this file as my first book. I have my first book. This is the uh, workbook in Microsoft Excel and I have all a file in Microsoft Excel that I told you before. Uh, so let's see this one for the file type. I have save as a type here. Normally the standard one or default one is Excel workbook. I have, um, but if you have like some other kind of um, Excel type, I have, you can just like choose them. For example, if you would like to send this file uh -huh, to other people who use like very old version of Excel, for example, if they use Excel um, 2003 version, you have to downgrade your Excel first uh -huh, by just choosing the type as Excel 97 to 2003 workbook. Uh -huh. But in this class, normally I just like want you to save it as my first book 
นะครับ so that all the features in Microsoft Excel um, will be safe according to the version of Excel that we have got for example in here um, Microsoft Excel 2010 onward นะครับ um, right now I'm using 2019 version if you use I mean, if I send this file to you, you can open my one as well. Uh, but the older version, like Excel 2003 or below, um, or older than that, you cannot just like save it like that way. Uh, you have to choose or downgrade your file in that type. Okay, and then you click save. Uh, you just click save. So right now you can see that on the um, title bar, it changed from book one to be my first book. Uh, this one is, um, this one is just like um, the file that we have got. Uh, then you can close the file. Okay. So uh, up to this point, do you have any questions? Okay. So if you don't have any question, uh, um, let me just tell you a bit uh, for the class attendance actually I don't I don't call your name uh, but um, for the um, what to say for the attendance I can just download from the um, um, the zoom participation on uh, the participant list uh, automatically uh, so in this one um, but the way I just like want you to do uh, normally, I have to tell you that, okay, um, because actually our class uh, normally is finished at um, 9.50, right? But sometimes when they teach you without the break, uh, I will have to finish the class earlier. So that means normally I'll finish the class around 9.40. Uh, I'll finish the class around 9.40 so that you can have a, a time for the break and prepare yourself for the next class. Uh, I mean, like even on um, the campus, uh, we do the same thing because sometimes you have to study another subject on um, in another building. So you have the time to just like go to um, um, another building. Uh, okay, right. That is a, the way that are uh, the things that we do uh, on our class. Apart from that one, uh, when I finish my lecture, I'll let everyone to turn on your camera uh, so that I can capture the screen to see who um, who is who are still with me anyway. Uh, okay, then I'll just like tell you that okay everyone just turn on your camera something like that. Uh, okay, all right. And while you are having lectures, uh, um, I just recommend you uh, please turn off the microphone. Uh, but if you have any question, uh, feel free to turn on the microphone because sometimes when you type your question in the chat box, uh, I might not see it while I'm giving the lecture or share my screen. Uh, especially when I share the screen, I don't see um, the, the chat that is coming. Uh, so I might answer your question or respond to you slowly. Uh, then you can just like um, turn on the microphone and let me know immediately. Uh, Okay, now have everyone. So before we finish the class, everyone could you please turn on your camera, have? 